So you guys know Fear. We all enjoyed that game so much back in the day. Even though we enjoyed it so much and the developers know we want a sequel to Fear 3, but unfortunately there is no such thing. But there technically is one you just don't know about. The game I'm talking about is Treepang 2, there's a free demo on Steam right now for you to try out, and you will not regret that whatsoever. Wait, but before you go, let me explain first about the game and what it's like. The only thing that makes this game special is that you're the ultimate badass. So you play as an escaped soldier, who has no memories about their past life, but you are infused with supernatural abilities. You can also think about the SCP Foundation when I say that. With that being said, you also have one thing on your mind, and that's revenge, and you'll stop at nothing to get what you want. So what's revenge like though? Well, you deliver devastating punches, you sneak around in the shadows, wield explosive weapons, and you give the bad guys a taste of their own medicine. But right now, the demo doesn't have a full-fledged campaign already, but it does have a little bit of an intro sequence you can play and give you a little bit of a taste of what the campaign will be like in the full version of Tree Punk 2. The intro sequence to the demo is simple but yet effective. You are just a prisoner stuck in prison and then a mysterious group just broke you out of a heavily guarded black site. But there's some intense sneaking around, devastating punches thrown inside of that black site as well as a mount of dead bodies as well. Like seriously, that was insane. But not only that, your character also have two abilities you can use from the get-go, which is invisibility as well as slow-mo. And it's fun to use both of them. Believe it or not, in this game invisibility actually means invisibility. You can move around and they will not see you. If you crouch you will make less noise and the slow-mo just adds a little bit of immersion you need. And there's one thing this game did correctly and that is optimization. Trust me when I say that. Right now the minimum specs is this, but I can promise you if you have less specs than that you can play it on lowest graphics because with the options they give you, you can literally tune down the graphics for your PC to handle the game. So Fear 4 is basically here and if you guys like this game, go download it, it's like 8 gigabytes, and if you guys like it, let me know because I would love to know your opinion on this because I love nothing other than gore in games. I love it that game developers can sometimes be so transparent that they make it as gory as possible because FPS gamers love gore. It's just the honest truth. Thank you guys so much for watching. This game is 100% free on Steam right now and it's going to be for a little while. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.